Hello and welcome, my name is Michael Langdon and today what I want to do is show you how to animate text in Storyline 360. Um, that's all just one in one text box. So I've been using Storyline 360 for a year now and initially when I started using it I thought that I would have to take each line that I wanted to animate and separate it out into its own separate text box and then that was the only way to animate it. And so I would do this by sometimes using states, uh, sometimes uh, using layers, uh, but there's actually a really very simple and easy way to do this. I don't know why it took me so long to figure this out. Um, and I'm not the only person who had this question. Lots of people didn't know about this as I came to discover, so that's why I'm creating a video about it. So. As you can see, the first thing I have here is this text box, okay? And as you can see, I have multiple bulleted lines, so each of these would be considered a paragraph. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're going to animate this. So I come up, make sure your text box is, of course, selected, and then come up to the Animations tab, and over here where it says None, we're just going to select Fade. Now, once you've done that, you then want to come up to where it says Effect Options and come down to see where it says By Paragraph. Now once you do that, By Paragraph, if you come down here you'll see that now there's this little triangle next to our text box. And if I click on it, you'll see that it has done this great thing where it now has separated each of these paragraph items basically into their own little text thing and I can manipulate this okay now you wanna keep these in the order that you want them to appear or it can get kind of strange behavior so of course this first line commas come after introductory words phrases and clauses that's gonna come up right away that's our first item so that's where we want it this one we can move here this one we can now move here because that's where it's going to be and then if I move this one down here that one will come up like that and then we can finally do our last one and sometimes when you're doing this it's easy to accidentally move them around so you want to be cautious of that because then again the stacking order is important um, but if you get had a lot of them you may want to move them up and then back down if you can't see the audio layer there because when you move this audio track it's not going to slip in between these lines it's just going to be either at the top or all the way at the bottom which could be difficult to see and work with okay so now what I want to do is go ahead and play this for you I have to quick save this so you can see how this would work so we're gonna preview this slide Commas come after introductory words, phrases, and clauses. Typically, comma, this involves some technology. In the morning, comma, I saw a loon in the lake. If you get an infection, comma, the doctor will treat it with antibiotics. Although Grammar Girl says that using a serial comma is a style choice and not a rule, comma, Academic writing requires the use of a serial comma. Okay, so that's uh, it. And as you can see, I easily, it just took me a few minutes, uh, just a couple minutes, in fact, to animate that text. And so you can see how really easy it is to do this. And it's all based on this little tiny triangle here that's difficult to see. And a lot of people didn't see it. So, so that's it. Uh, have a great day.